Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another Anime Kingdom review. See by Teddy below. Yes, this is on episode 4 of Attack on Titan season 2. And what did I tell you? What did I tell you? That this episode was going to be pretty damn crazy. You're going to have a lot in store for, you know, from what happened pretty much building up from the last episode. What did I tell you? Seriously, straight up from the beginning part with like, like, good thing I didn't end up telling you guys about, you know, how I said there was something missing from the last episode. Yeah, they end up pretty much showing it here with the whole thing with Connie talking about, you know, thinking that might have been his mother because it resembles his mom. And then, of course, you know, the whole thing with Ymir kind of just saying, <laughs> you know, pretty much just laughing. Like, are you stupid? Why are you so short then? And pretty much like, you know, <laughs> this part actually did crack me up is when she was like, Oh, it was your dad a Titan too? Because if he wasn't, then, you know, they wouldn't have been able to, you know, do it and everything. And I was just like, yeah, that would be pretty awkward, I would think, actually. There's no way you could do it any other way. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I said, there was that part. It kind of helps explain a little bit of what's going on, you know, the whole thing with Connie and, you know, his village and why he thinks that, you know, that could have been his mom or something along those lines. Like, why the hell was that village, you know, destroyed and wrecked, but there was no bodies, no one bleeding or anything like that, you know? So that's one of the things kind not fully solved, but kind of like, what the hell's going on there, you know? Was that his mom? So that was pretty crazy, of course. Good thing I didn't end up spoiling that in the last episode review. Also, the whole thing with, um, like I said before in the last one, the thing with... Ymir grabbing a can and like for some reason it showed um, Reiner like looking at it like what the hell looking at her but that's all it really showed in the last one this time we see a little bit more obviously you can see that the reason why Reiner's like looking at her like that is because for somehow some reason that she's able to read this language that no one else can you know actually read so that's pretty big um, they don't end up explaining too much about that but that of course does connect Towards the ending, where we see that she can turn into a damn freaking titan. Yeah, I bet you. I don't know if you expected that, but I was. I was like, man, I honestly can't wait to see the reactions of everyone when they end up seeing that. So please, don't forget to feel free to comment below. I want to know how you guys felt about that moment. Like, just about the whole episode in general. But I really want to know how you felt. Like, did you have an inkling or? even a little bit of a feeling that, you know, Ymir could have been a Titan, or was that completely, like, out of nowhere, and you did not expect that at all, because when I first saw it in the, um, when I was reading the chapters in the manga, I honestly did not expect that. When I saw that, I was, I mean, I kind of thought, like, a little bit when she started talking, you know, to Krista and everything about, like, she's gonna fight, like, it seemed like she was gonna go sacrifice herself or something, and there's no way she was just gonna jump down there with a damn knife, right? So it was like, uh, the sh does she have something planned? And of course, yes, she does. Cuts her hand. Crazy ass transformation. Turns into Titan. Episode ends there. Holy crap, I cannot wait to see the next episode. Like, this episode was pretty cool too. We got to see, you know, the scouts fighting the Titans. We got to see freaking Reiner. First off, of course, when he went down to go check if there was, you know, how far the Titans got up. Opens the door comes face to face with that just creepy ass face like literally when i saw that I, like i would have literally shit my pants right there he closes the door puts the you know the blockade thing on and i'm over here like fuck that dude run up the stairs and start blockading up there not hurry up guys it's right over here bring down some stuff to block it no ways already that thing is like right there and you saw i just broke straight his hand straight through the door we see a little bit about reiner's past as well on pretty much um berthold pretty much said that he never used to be like that he used to be not a soldier but like a warrior so i'm not too sure you know why he said that what does that mean because even reiner didn't understand what that meant um but it seems that in his past, someone ended up protecting him as well, saving him, and that's why he ends up being the way he is now. To which, of course, obviously, we see um, <laughs> Connie's not paying attention. Titan comes out, hey there, I'm gonna eat you. Freaking Reiner just pushes him aside, gets his hand bitten, 
and like literally just like lifts him up and was just gonna jump out the window. I'm like, damn, Reiner, that's that's honestly pretty badass. And when then you know Connie ended up coming and cutting the jaw open so he can free his arm, I was like, push him off, push him the fuck off. Like when he it, it like stood up a little and it was looking, they were like, oh shit, I'm over here like. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Kick him! Finally, they do end up kicking and pushing him off. Good job on that. You should have done that a little bit earlier, because that was a little, you know, just for it to have its attention towards you after. Um, you don't want that happening. But luckily, of course, they do push it off. You get a little bit of funny stuff. The whole thing with Krista marry me again when she rips off a piece of her, you know, her skirt thing and puts it, you know, all uh, pretty much makes a, a uh, something for him. To, I for, I'm completely blanking out on what it is, but she makes like a cast kind of thing for him. So for Reiner, and he's like, I gotta marry her. <laughs> I'll just crack, you know, like, yeah. And then Yumi over there is like, oh, I, I, I have like a, a cut on my hand as well. And I'm like, y yeah, sure you do, <laughs> you know. But overall, like, those are the funny parts. It, it was also pretty like funny but not really kind of like it was like oh man that sucks when the guy who pretty much you know he was like he wanted to drink before finds the bottle when he's about to die nothing's in there he's like who the hell drank the rest of it at first i was thinking to myself wait no one drank it and i was thinking oh wait krista used it for reiner's wound so yeah that sucks but of course pretty much yeah we see the beast titan throw a damn like rock and seems to be controlling all the titans and telling like another wave of titans that have coming he ends up running you know jumping on the other side of the wall for some reason so i guess he just wanted to f with them or something maybe he's trying to like remember he grabbed the omnidirectional um their maneuver gear kind of thing and maybe he was trying to see testing it by watching them use it i guess maybe along those lines and then after when it looked like they were able to survive throws a damn rock kills two of them the other two end up one of them dying because he runs out of gas the other one because he gets hit in the head and then of course yumir jumps off the damn building in a pretty epic ass way turning into a damn titan leaving us at a pretty damn huge cliffhanger but yeah that was pretty much the episode um, I'm definitely happy I did not spoil you guys since it did show in this episode the things with Connie's mom and of course Ymir and the can thing um, But yeah, it, it, you have to admit this episode after the build-up of last one was definitely worth it And the next episode is gonna get even better now that we see Ymir's probably gonna probably see some crazy ass Titan on Titan action um not that creepy kind where we saw at the very beginning with that one titan for some reason just coming along and just pushing the other one down ripping its ear off i'm like is that necessary do we have to see that that's that's kind of nasty it's funny too because when um it started hitting him and then put its hand by its um the other titan's mouth and the titan's like okay and just starts biting on him like ah okay titans eating each other i don't know why titans are weird that's just how it is, I guess. But, yeah, overall, that's all I really got to say about this episode. Pretty hyped up episode. Some answers, questions. Um, some answers, questions. Some questions answered a little bit, but not fully answered. Crazy reveal at the end. Some cool action with the scouts fighting. Of course, some sad as well with them dying. Um, Reiner being a badass, almost, like, throwing a damn. Like, how the hell? That Titan is, like, twice as, like, he's, he's big. But that titan is huge and for him to be able to carry that thing with his arm being bitten so that's huge amount of pain in his arm that's pretty crazy i guess adrenaline maybe along those lines but yeah pretty damn crazy episode definitely enjoyed it but it's really all i gotta say because that was practically the whole episode so i want to know how you guys felt anime watchers only how did you feel about this episode how did you feel about the huge reveal at the very end were you surprised along those lines were you hyped up are you excited for the next one like i am because i've you know i've read the chapters i've read the manga i know what's going to happen but i'm still excited to see and see it in anime form and like man I, I wish there was a time machine saturdays are literally my favorite days of the week just because of how much crazy anime that i have to watch i still got a shitload more to watch and this is only the first one, and I'm already hyped up, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got to say. So, if you enjoy this anime kingdom review, if you have any questions, oh, sorry. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And if you did enjoy, don't a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. Until next time, guys. See ya. Bye.